Welcome to lesson 1 of the Pandas data structures module. In this lesson, we will explore the Pandas series, a one-dimensional data structure in Pandas. Think of it as a labeled list or a single column in a table. By the end of this lesson, you will understand how to create, inspect and perform basic operations on a Pandas series using real-world data from the Toyota sales dataset. Now, what is a Pandas series? A Pandas series is essentially a one-dimensional array with labels called the index. Each value in the series is associated with a label which makes it more powerful than a plain list or array. To demonstrate, let's start by loading our dataset. The dataset which we are going to use is nothing but Toyota sales data.csv. We'll first load the data into a Pandas data frame, then we'll work with one of the columns as a series. Now first let me select the kernel here. Let me add a code cell. Now let me say import pandas as pd. Now it is imported. Let me create a variable by name toyota underscore data then equal to pd dot read underscore csv then data car underscore sales. This is the folder. The file name is nothing but toyota then sales data dot csv. You can see the path here. Let me select this. Now let me run this. Here we have loaded the dataset into a data frame by name Toyota underscore data. Already we have gone through this quite a few times in the past. Let's preview the dataset and then we'll take it further. As we are using notebook environment, we can just say Toyota underscore data dot head to review the first five records in the data frame. You can see the first five records in the data frame. Now let's get into the details about extracting a column as a series. For that, we'll be extracting the data from the model column from the dataset. The column name is nothing but car underscore model. We'll use this column name and we'll actually create a series using the data in this column. Let me define a variable by name model underscore series then equal to Toyota underscore data then car underscore model. Now let me run this. When it comes to Toyota data, it is of type data frame. You can say type then Toyota underscore data. It is of type data frame. You can also get the details of this data frame by using shape. Dot shape will give us both count. When it comes to the count, I'm talking about the count of rows and also the count of columns. The number of columns is nothing but seven. The number of rows is nothing but 5,000. Now, when it comes to model underscore series, it is of type series, you can see here. To preview the data in the series, again, you can use the head. Let me say model underscore series dot head. Now let me run this. You can see the first five records or first five values in this column in the original data frame. So here model underscore series is of type series. It have data only related to car underscore model. You can see the, the series name here. It is nothing but car underscore model. Now let's get into the details related to understanding the properties of series. When it comes to Panda series, it has several useful properties. Let's explore those. They are nothing but data type index and basic summary statistics. To get type of any Python variable or data type of any Python variable, we should be able to use a type like this. In this case, the data type of model underscore series is nothing but series. However, the data type of values in the series is nothing but object. You can see here, D type says it is object. You can also get the data types of values in the series by using this approach. Model underscore series, then dot D types. You can see the D type of the values is nothing but O. All the values in the series will be of same type. Now you can also get the index of the series. For that, you should be able to say model underscore series, then index. The index starts from zero and ends with 5000, which means we have total 5000 records in the series. Keep in mind, 5000 is the upper limit and it is not included. It starts with 0 and ends with 4999 in this case. Now you can also get basic statistics of this series. For that purpose, we just have to say model underscore series, then dot, then describe. You can see here the total number of values in the series is nothing but 5000. Only six unique values are there. So there are a lot of repetitions when it comes to the values in the series. The top value is nothing but RAV4. 
this is how you should be able to interpret these the results which are returned by describe function now let's perform some basic operations on the series such as finding unique values counting unique entries and checking for missing data to get all unique values you should be able to say model underscore series then unique you can see the unique values returned in the form of array to get the number of unique values you just have to say model underscore series dot n unique it will count the unique values and it will return you can see the count of unique values in this series is nothing but six now in case if you want to get number of values which are null then you should be able to use this approach model underscore series then dot is null if you run this it will show if there are any null values if it is false that means they are not null now if you say sum it will return the number of null values as of now there are no null values when it comes to car model hence it have written zero now let's scroll up a little bit here and review the toyota sales data when it comes to commission percentage there are null values you can see here to get the number of null values when it comes to commission percentage you should be able to say commission percentage series equal to let me say cp underscore series equal to toyota data then commission percentage it have created a series by name cp underscore series now we should be able to say cp underscore series dot is null let's run this you see there are trues and false if uh, cp underscore series value is uh, null it is written true for that uh, value otherwise it is written false now if we use sum on top of this it will add all the trues and it will give the uh, total count of null values in commission percentage now let me say is null and then sum you can see here out of 5000 values uh, with respect to commission percentage series 1274 are having null values you can also use describe here let me say describe and let's see what it actually written on top of count it have also displayed quite a few other metrics because when it comes to commission percentage it is of type float it have given us the average commission percentage standard deviation minimum maximum and percentiles up to 25 then 50 then 75 so and so forth using the functions such as unique can unique describe is null etc we should be able to explore the values in the series and understand what the series contains that being said one of the powerful features of a panda series is the ability to apply functions to its values let's convert all car models to uppercase for standardization so in this case let me first review the data related to model underscore series you see the data is not in uppercase here as part of the standardization process i would like to convert all these values to uppercase for that purpose i should be able to say model underscore series dot str upper now let me run this you can see all the values are converted to uppercase you can also assign to a variable and use head function to get first few records however this is more than enough just to understand how to use functions such as upper on top of series to convert all the values in the series to uppercase that being said in this lesson you have learned what a panda series is and how to work with it we used the toyota sales data set to extract a column actually we extracted series from two columns one is model second one is commission percentage then we have explored the properties of those series objects and even we performed basic operations in the next lesson we will take this knowledge further by working with the data frames which represent entire tables of data see you there